Hi, my name is John. I'm a recovering heroin addict. Um, yeah, this is hard. Uh, I got uh, hurt about probably six or seven years ago, and um, I got prescribed uh, prescription Percocets at the doctor's, and I began taking them, and after a while, I started um, getting a tolerance to them. So what I started doing was I was getting stronger medicine from the streets, and um, without them, I, I noticed like a physical addiction. I'd get sick, I'd be uncomfortable, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, all kinds of stuff. And uh, one day I couldn't find any medication from off the street and somebody got me heroin instead and it, it was basically the same thing but it was much cheaper as uh, Leslie mentioned earlier and um, it, it took me down real quick. Um, um, I knew where it was going to lead and I really wanted to change so I checked myself into a rehab and this time I went in with an open mind. I stopped trying to figure out how I could make things work and I listened to suggestions, the people there, the counselors. It wasn't weed or alcohol. That was the gateway to Xanax, crack cocaine, and heroin. Um, at first it was trying to fit in with groups of friends in high school, smoking here and there, um, until I find myself uh, shooting up heroin and becoming a thief, a liar, not a son to my father, um, going to jail and rehabs, detoxes, homeless. That's where heroin brought me. Um, I'm grateful for my father, my God of my understanding, friends, family, um, the AA rooms of AA, my sponsor, I needed to give up completely. I was powerless over everything about me. Um, I had to totally give up and ask someone for help. I started using heroin when I was 18 years old. I didn't stop until I was 29. I'm 31 now. Um, my father, you know, um, he kicked me out thinking that, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway, so I might as well just be on the street where I want to be. And, of course, I got arrested. Um, and he also um, called the cops on me and got me arrested um, to put me in jail to know where um, I was and he could get better sleep at night. Um, you know, and when I was on the street, I didn't have anywhere to go. And, you know, during the day, I was just doing what I had to do to get the next fix. And, um, you know, with the recovery center that to go to and, um, you know, to, to get some help and get some insurance or um, any kind of help is, is better than walking the streets. And around the age of 18, I tried heroin for the first time and my whole life changed. Um, I felt like this void in me was filled, but this whole time I was covering and masking something that I didn't want to deal with. And with the help of Hunter County Drug Corps and the police van, the police officer, Sergeant Thomas DeRosa, who arrested me, um, my life is where I am today. Um, you know, I run a very good program. Um, I'm grateful to Hunter Veteran Resources for giving me the chance to do the Hunter Recovery Center. Helping people helps me stay sober, and I'm grateful to Sister, um, who is my biggest supporter. Um, she wouldn't answer the phone for me when I was out on the streets using. Um, I have a father who's currently active and out, and I have a sister who's currently active and out in addiction, um, and I can't really associate with them, and it's hard. And now I'm in a position where my sister was when I was using, but when I was in jail, she always answered the phone because she knew I was clean and sober and safe. But she told me she to, had to accept the fact that I was going to die. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to hear when I was at Anderson House and um, in our family meetings. And um, I'm in the same position she is right now where I have to accept the fact that I might lose some family members. I started out very young with my drug addiction. I was actually a victim of childhood sexual abuse. 
and it was something really, really hard for me to cope with. You know, going through high school, having to deal with that, and try to stick to my emotions and try to fit in and everything. And I just realized I was different. You know, I, was, I always stood out. So when I started using, I started using alcohol, pills, and it would get me to where I wanted to be, to where I could live every day for itself. Um, when I started getting used to it, I decided I had to pick up something else to be able to live day for day. That's when I started using heroin at the age of 18. I was actually arrested in Tennessee, um, and that's when I was using heroin the last time. My addiction, it was bad. I was stealing from my own family, my grandparents, and it, it hurt me knowing that I hurt them, but it hurt them the most because they never ever would do if I was going to wake up one day and do it and just die. What would they do? What would be left of me? That's why now I'm very glad I have the chance to actually be able to reach out and try to help one person. I've only been sober a year. I got high all my life. I started at a really, really young age. Like small, I can't. Really young. And I just ruined my whole life, lost everything, lost respect of everybody, and I did get arrested and was going to prison and took drug court and I'm just happy to be where I am today. It's, a lot of people don't want to think about this. They just don't want to. They, they, they don't want to, they want to pretend that it's not going to happen to them uh, or their loved ones. Uh, but unfortunately, we're all vulnerable. Our whole community, our whole society is vulnerable. Whether, whether uh, we have a family member that, that becomes addicted and, and becomes active, um, we all are at risk in the community because um, we know we become vulnerable in, in terms of um, addicts have to drive and go get their, go get their fix. They're driving down the highways, uh, putting us at risk. They're breaking into houses so that they can get their, their, their fix. And, and really, it's, it's destructive. And I think, you know, this crowd is telling, but you know, watching the, the, the presidential uh, debates and listening to um, these politicians on a national level speak, I heard them talking about the problem up in New Hampshire, the, the great problem of heroin in, in New Hampshire. And guess what? Hunter County is not all that different from New Hampshire. We have a lot of the same demographics.